Hi Leo, welcome back. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Leo placements in their chart. Make sure you guys just take what resonates and leave what doesn't fit. And also remember to flip and switch the roles, okay? Could be talking about someone else that's coming up in your energy. Um, please be aware that there are scammers down below in the comment section, people pretending to be me. Okay, so if the name is not highlighted in gray, it is not me um, replying back to your comments. And if there are fake pages reaching out to you on other social media platforms outside of YouTube, it is also obviously not me. <clears throat> um, my social media handles are going to be down below in the description box if you guys are, you know, interested in following my social medias. But I really have them there so you guys could know who's who and what's what. Because I know people, fake pages are running rampant, especially with me. So, you know, trying to help y'all out. I don't want y'all to get scammed and be looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> so let's see what's going on for leo spirit <clears throat> messages for leo please return any spell work any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones me and my loved ones return it back to the sender let's get some clear messages for leo what is going on here for leo spirit what do you want leo to hear and know at this time okay wow okay pisces just had this card so we have awakening you will find yourself waking up to new awareness and deeper consciousness that will transform your life and allow your beautiful light to emerge. Okay, that's number two that is Pisces. So make sure you go watch Pisces reading. It was really nice. Okay. I'm also getting, I mean, it says romance. <laughs> um, You could be dealing with a Virgo with the number nine here, the hermit. So it says love is yours to take. The person on your mind is going to make a romantic gest gesture and hopes to rekindle the love in your connection. So if you're, I mean, if you're not wanting to rekindle anything with somebody, just take that as you're awakening to <clears throat> issues that you need to work on in order to bring new love in your life. You're going through an awakening and realizing that maybe you don't want to rekindle something with somebody. You want something new or whatever, but you're definitely, yeah, clarity, bottom of the decks. So yeah, intuition and challenge. So there's, yeah, the past. Thank you, spirit. So, okay, teach. Yep. In the past and new love. Boom. I cannot make it up. Okay, recognition, yeah. So whatever this is from your past, Leo, I feel like whoever this is from your past or past life healing or whatever this is, is <clears throat> challenging you to move forward, right? This is gonna be a test for you here to see if you learned your lesson about this past person in order to move forward to new love. You could have a decision between new and the past, <clears throat> but one of these people obviously are not right for you, okay? And you're gonna receive a download about it or you really need to listen to your intuition because... I feel like somebody here is playing games, okay? Like they've been doing. All right. Um, and you you don't got time or you shouldn't. <laughs> you really should not, okay? I feel like you have something new that's possibly coming in for you. That's the energy I got for Pisces. So maybe go watch that reading. But, you know, because I got in there reading that a past person is a fucking narcissist. They play too fucking much. And they keep coming in and out, back and forth you know with no clarity or explanation or whatever and i feel like them not giving you clarity is clarity enough for you to move on and like you don't need clarity or closure from nobody give yourself closure and move the fuck on it's easier said than done but i feel like when you get fed up with something you get fed up with it and you're gonna end it yeah three of swords and the and the temperance i feel like it's gonna hurt here yeah because you, you probably care about somebody but they're not y'all not in alignment right now and who's to say that you will ever be? So let's see. Somebody's name could be Lily, or you, you're called Lily. Maybe somebody's name could be Leanne or something like that, too, I'm hearing. But maybe people call you Lily or something like that. Could be, I'm hearing Leah, L-E-A, or L-I-A, or something. Okay, let's do, let's see. What's this energy here for Leo? Yeah, the truth is about to be revealed to you, which will allow you to feel more at ease with the past events that remain unanswered, yeah, until now. And suddenly it would all make sense. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Aries Leo, another Leo, or Sagittarius. <clears throat> What's going on here for Leo? Five of Pentacles, yeah. Yeah, you could have a Taurus Mercury placement, or somebody does here. But yeah, I feel like you feel left out in the cold here. You're leaving somebody ass out in the cold. Yeah, and turning your back, three of wands. <laughs> You're leaving somebody out in the cold here. I feel like whatever this is always makes you feel worried or am I going to get you know brought back in from out of the cold today or when am I ever going to come out of the cold here? And I feel like you're going to learn to accept the fact that you do love this person or love somebody, but you're awakening to their behavior and your connection not going anywhere. 
So I feel like what you're doing is leaving somebody ass out in the cold. <clears throat> really. Some of y'all need to get rid of this lack mindset or this is what they have. And that's why y'all shit is not moving. What else for Leo? <clears throat> I'm getting a whole story without these cards being on this table on my altar. What, what else for Leo? Two of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're making a decision or you're going to be. Someone could have an Aries Mars placement. So I feel like you're looking forward to your future. You're planning and, and, and looking forward to whatever you have going on here for the future, okay? This could be a partnership coming in. For some of you guys, if you're having money issues, this could be a business partnership that could be coming in. But whatever it is, it's your justice here, okay? Um, I just saw, yeah, the Ten of Swords. There could definitely be a new partnership coming in for you, but you're going to have to make a decision if you want to leave somebody out in the cold or wait for their ass or do whatever you're going to do. But I see a plan or a strategy or this could be you waiting. I feel like you're anticipating something. The two of wands is anticipation. <clears throat> Let's see what else. Some of y'all could be thinking about moving. Yeah, the King of Cups. Scorpio. Yeah, Five of Swords. Child by. <laughs> like, who has the time? Like, be for real. So, there could be either a King of Cups coming into your life here, or this could be a person that you're making a decision about <clears throat> that's already been here, but they're not acting right. Okay, um... We're going to see who that is. Because right now, I don't know. I don't know what kind of energy I'm picking up off of them. Because the King of Cups could be somebody that really hides their feelings. They're really not as emotional as you would think that they would be, I guess. <clears throat> the King of Cups, though, when they're upright, this is somebody emotionally available. They're very understanding. They're compassionate. You could trust them. They're loyal. They will be a good father or mother figure here. You know, someone that feels deep, but maybe they're not quite expressive. But we're going to see who that is. What else for Leo? All right. Okay, good. Yeah, the Nine of Swords in reverse and the Five of Cups in reverse. Someone could have a Gemini Mars, a Scorpio Mars. <clears throat> could have a lot of Aries in your chart. Leo. But yeah, um, this is you saying that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. All hope is not lost here. <clears throat> okay. When it comes down to your love life, since we do have romance you're you're definitely going through an awakening process and a lot of things are becoming more clear to you here so you're moving away from the anxiety the the like i said the lack mindset the mentality oh i'm never going to get what i want blah 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 that's i mean it's not really getting you nowhere so i feel like you're moving away from it the negativity the <clears throat> worrying or stressing like you know waiting because i feel like that's what you're doing and it's just not it's not going nowhere five of cups in reverse is you <clears throat> healing you not mourning or grieving over something anymore. I feel like you just are done with it. You know, you're holding yourself back and you're moving forward. Four of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Some of y'all are saving for a move. You're getting ready to relocate or you could be saving for a trip. But your ships are definitely coming in here because you have control over yourself and you're not going to be played with here. I feel like you have really good self-control. And because of that, you're growing and you're expanding. Yeah, Six of Swords, Page of Swords. Yeah. You're being guided with the with the six of swords to move the fuck on. So I feel like I feel like you're leaving though with compassion though. You're not you're not being a bitch about anything, but I just feel like you're not gonna be stuck either though. And you can still love somebody but realize they're just not acting right. You can't do nothing about that shit. What's um what else for Leo? The strength card. That's you, Leo. Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like what you're doing, too, you're waiting for somebody to open up, and they're not. They're continuing to stay in control of their emotions, their feelings. They're not letting you in. So I feel like this is a bit of a challenge. If this has something to do with this King of Cups, the Scorpio, or whoever it is, or they could have Cancer Pisces Scorpio somewhere, or Leo, or it could be anybody. But I feel like this is something here that you're going to have to overcome and just face, Okay. This is a challenge here for you. This connection with whoever the fuck this is. 
or you maybe being expressive here is a challenge or it's a challenge for their ass. One or the other. They're really holding back. I don't know if it's their pride, their ego with the strength card right here. I don't know what it is. But somebody could still be in their ego. That's why you're not getting nothing from out of this person. Yeah, five of cups. Yeah, and they're the ones that's going to be sitting up here lost and in regret over you, Empress. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. I feel like they're the ones that's going to be sitting over here while you're moving on your healing. They're going to be in the five of cups upright, sad as fuck, because they lost out on you and they knew better. Or maybe they don't. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm getting fed up with that shit. Personally, as y'all's reader and as a human and as a person that deals with shit like that or has dealt with shit like that, like, don't nobody want to keep dealing with that shit, bro. What's the Five of Pentacles? You guys will be saying five, five, five. What's this Five of Pentacles? Eight of Swords, the Temperance, and the Knight of Wands. Yeah. <laughs> Spirit is protecting you. From this in and out energy. Somebody being back and forth in and out. <clears throat> what? For sex? Or maybe they with somebody else. Who knows? But if that's where you want to choose to stay, please stay there. Don't come back. <laughs> Don't come back. Respectfully. What's the five of pentacles? Knight of swords. Yeah. So I feel like what you're doing is you're taking action. Okay. You can have Gemini on your chart somewhere. But you're definitely taking action here. You're going to save yourself from the misery and the bullshit. Right? You're going to have to take action and leave somebody out in the cold. This is you showing courage and moving forward, pushing through obstacles here. The Knight of Swords is somebody that's very heroic. Whoever this is, too, they come at you very strong. But I feel like they're very insecure. Whoever this is, they come towards you very strong, very fast. But then it always slows up or they leave you on the cold. Yeah, and they put you back in the Eight of Swords every single time. It, it's, it's always the same shit with this person who's this knight of swords this could be somebody that's yeah two of wands coming out again you guys would be seeing two 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 could be seeing 11 11 too with these twos by like side by side yeah the two of wands Someone here has turned their back on something or, or this could be you or this could be this person that I'm, that I'm pulling in here. So I feel like I feel like what you're doing, though, Leo, if this is you. You're taking action on the decision that you made. Your decision is to turn your back. You're taking action on it. You're doing it. You're actually it's in progress <laughs> is what I'm getting because you're coming out of this five of cups in reverse. I feel like you you're not sitting over here crying over spilled milk or what didn't come to pass with somebody. I feel like it is what it is. You're learning how to accept things for what it is, you know, and it's sad, but it is what the fuck it is, man. I don't know what else to say about it. This is you like knowing what you want for your future. This is you. That <clears throat> This is you that could have been waiting, but I feel like you're going to make your own moves now. You're not going to sit and wait for nobody to choose you. You're not doing that. And I wouldn't advise you to do it either. Yeah, Six of Swords. It's like, no, it's the two of wands, the seven of wands. I get with this too. Somebody is just so indecisive. Yeah, there's this king of cups again with the four cups. Yeah, and the six of cups. I can't make it up. I cannot make it up. King of cups with the four of cups and the six of cups. This is somebody here from your past. Could be somebody that you have children with. Doesn't have to be. Or somebody that you share past lives with where things are stagnant with this person because they're too stuck on the past or... <clears throat> they're with a past person or whatever this is but i feel like you're over it though the ace of cups is there new love what's um someone could have a leo mars another mars placement a lot of aries or <clears throat> yeah you're deciding to block something you're really looking forward to, to your future yeah two of cups Five of Swords and the, the Three of Swords. I don't... <clears throat> I feel like you're really resenting somebody. Some of y'all need to clear that out, right? I mean, it's normal to feel that way too. Because they broke your heart here. It's, it's like you really love somebody, but they're sitting up here playing with the Five of Swords. Or there's somebody in the background doing it to fuck up this connection. And they sitting here, they letting it happen. So who's really the problem here? Because people going to act how they going to act. 
You feel me? Like, you I gotta allow somebody to fuck something up for you. If you're allowing it, then what do you think is gonna happen, honey? What's the seven of wands? <clears throat> yeah, the ten of pentacles. Yeah, someone could have a Virgo Mercury. For some of you, like I said, someone here could be married. But I feel like this is what you want for your future. You're fighting for this. You're fighting for a family. You want a family. You want to build. You want to get married. For some of you, not all, not everybody wants to get married. But I'm saying, though, you want a family dynamic. Most of you do that here, I guess. This could definitely be like... um. Some of y'all could be waiting for some money here to come in or something like that. But I feel like this is more so something that's deep-rooted in your roots here. Something that um needs to be healed. It could be generational trauma and karma and things like that that you're healing. Maybe that's what you're realizing. You're realizing that some, this connection here is attached to some trauma from your past life. And I feel like what you're, what you're needing to do is just get rid of it here. <laughs> okay, like heal it and move on. Or you have... But something could be blocked, too, because you're waiting for something. But something could be blocked because someone is married. They already got a family. Yeah, the lovers, the ace of wands. Some Somebody already is dealing with somebody or having sex with somebody or whatever this is. You know, it's like. And this is what you want. Or you, this is how you see your future with this person. But they didn't. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. What's the king of cups? Three of Wands, it's a lot of like standing. <laughs> Two of Wands twice with the Three of Wands. Yeah, that's Aries Sun. Somebody's definitely an Aries. There's Aries again with the Queen of Wands. What's the King of Cups with the Three of Wands? Yeah, Eight of Swords. Yeah, whoever this is, I'm telling you, this person just keeps you stuck all the time. Or they ass is stuck somewhere and it ain't got shit to do with you. <laughs> like you guys could be uh could have a gemini jupiter <sighs> this person here they overthink they stay in their head a lot okay i feel like they self-sabotage this fucking connection and they did and they're, they're continuously doing it that's why you're being guided to move on this pride and this ego and all this shit, I feel like you don't have time for nobody to be in their ego. Because what I feel like is they're waiting to see if you're going to do it or you're going to come back and say something while they continue to hold back. It's like, no, bitch, no. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting agitated because <laughs> the feeling is very familiar. The Three of Wands talks about growth, expansion. It's like they want to grow with you, but then they get stuck. It's like, honey, get it together. You know, either you're going to take this risk or you're, you know, no risk, no reward. But this is a challenge for this person. And I get it. It could be that this person, they have mental health issues. They could just have a problem with their mental health. And they need to maybe seek counseling or not doing anything about it. Or this is you that feels stuck here. You're waiting. You're continuously waiting to see if something is going to grow with this person. And they're sitting here with all these feelings, but they're not express expressing them. And I feel like you do. You are showing compassion. You are understanding. You know, you're showing this person everything. What more can you give? It's like something is just not enough for somebody, which means you need to love on yourself, right? If, if somebody is showing you that whatever it is that you're doing, you're going above and beyond to show somebody that you want them and they're not doing it, then there's something wrong with them. It's not you. You're doing your part. You're doing your part. So I don't know. This person could be married too. Though. King of Cups is a married man, even if they're upright. A married man or married woman, flip it, switch it. <sighs> you want growth, you want expansion, and they sitting up here stuck. And I feel like they wanted to, but they're not expressing that. So you can't do nothing with that. What can you do? You can't beat it out of them. <laughs> like, what's what's the five of cups in reverse <clears throat> for Leo? Nine of swords coming out again. Yeah, beside each other. <laughs> yeah, somebody is... They they play these games with you because they know that you have a soft spot for them here. They do. With the Five of Swords, that talks about like intimidate. They could be very intimidated by you. This could talk about too, somebody wanting to win something at all costs. There's a lot of miscommunication with this Five of Swords. I don't feel like they're bullying you or doing whatever to you. I feel like what they're doing is playing mind games. 
that's what this five of swords is and they every time they feel that you're moving away or you're getting over them they come back and and be expressive in a certain way but it's it never ends that way they get you hooked again it's it's, it's a mind game it's gaslighting it's bullshit that this person does and they take that and run with it every time because you're refueling them they're a bit of a narcissist this person they have narcissistic tendencies and it could be like they're a good person but i just feel like they have to do some healing that's just what i get from that i really do it's, it's a battle it's a struggle with this nine of wands dealing with this energy what's this nine of swords with this five? yeah four of wands for some of you this is your twin here someone could have an aries venus placement <clears throat> So I'm getting, I'm getting, um, you, you're definitely healing something from that's familial, like your family. There's something from your, there's something that, that connects you to this person from past lives, like a, a years, not years, but shit lives ago. You know what I'm saying? Lives ago It's it's something that you're working through here. Yeah, I feel like I feel like too, Leo. What you're worried about too is that if you move forward and move into something else, like this person's gonna finally come back and y'all can reconcile. But really, really sit with that thought though. Like you've been waiting probably for a long time to to fix this connection or whatever the fuck, and it's still not giving you what you want. And then it's like they play games with you through this healing phase, and then they want to turn around and come back and act like nothing happened or whatever. It's like no, you have to really. Even though you have a soft spot for this person and you love them, you're going to have to really, really overcome that because enough is a fuck enough. I think, yeah, I did say that in Pisces title on their reading. Enough is enough. Dead ass. The four of wands here is stability, is security. It's, um, you could be meeting new people too, like kindred spirits, people that you resonate with, your soul tribe, and you're nervous. You could be nervous about meeting people because of whatever this is but you're coming out of that here i feel like this this is what's stressing you out this twin flame connection or whatever this is or this could be what's stressing this person out this person is married or they're living with other people or somebody in particular and you're moving on with the five of cups because i know it's not them in the five of cups in reverse this is your ass moving the fuck on healing and getting over something and i feel like this is a level up for you but somebody's home or there's a community of people here that stresses this person out to the point where they're just not doing anything. For some of you guys, some of y'all could be stressing about your living situation. That could be what this person is going through. Maybe why they feel restricted. But it's like, if you don't communicate, how can we work together? How do you expect anything? Like this person, they get in their head and they feel like, I don't know if they think that you're not going to accept them or whatever. But they, yeah, thank you. The hangman, they need to shift their perspective. But they're not. So like I said, you can't do nothing about it. But I feel like you're coming into a time of celebration. You could be nervous, though. You could be worried. <clears throat> but I feel like slowly but surely you're getting over it because the Nine of Swords is here in reverse. Again, well, this time. What's this Nine of Swords in reverse? <laughs> Ace of Swords in reverse. The Ace of Swords in Reverse talks about just being scatterbrained, not having a clear mind. Definitely could be arguing. So there could be arguments and shit like that. Or somebody's in a hostile environment, possibly. I feel, I feel like you're getting over the fact, too, that somebody is just not growing. They're not telling you the truth. They don't want to tell you the truth. They're lying. Or I feel like you're feeling, I feel like you're going to be, sooner than later, you're going to be feeling like you're okay with not speaking to somebody anymore. And once I feel like I know for me, once I get like that, I'm cool. It's out of sight, out of mind. Like I could love you, but I'm not gonna be sitting up here thinking about you. You ain't stressing me the fuck out. Yeah. And because somebody's holding back, the wheel is turning and it's going to turn in your favor. This could be you holding back. Like I said, having discipline and self-control and healing and moving the fuck on. Yeah, the four of swords with the strength card. You're 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 gonna end up feeling more empowered here and you're gonna have you're gonna be able to learn how to control your mind and this overthinking and what if and you know, blah blah blah. Shit that's not getting you nowhere. 
somebody is in regret. This is this is not a swords in reverse. It's them in extreme remorse and regret because they know that they lied. They're lying. And they made a wrong decision. Ace of Swords in reverse. That This is what this is. What's the Nine of Swords in reverse with the Ace of Swords in reverse? Yeah, Nine of Cups because they were fucking selfish. They were fucking selfish here. Yeah, and then somebody, whoever this is, this Queen of Wands and this Two of Swords, they betray, either this is you, they betrayed you or they, they got with somebody ass and but they betrayed, they got betrayed by them, which caused an abrupt ending with you and them. But someone could have a Pisces Jupiter. Someone is very selfish. They were only thinking about themselves and fulfilling their own needs and not worried about you. And now you're moving on and you're going to get this Ten of Pentacles. You're going to be protecting it with your dear life. <laughs> okay, because that, that's just what it is. Y'all got a partnership coming in that could be challenging for you because you don't know what's up ahead. But I feel like you have something good coming in. But... This is a lot of nines here. You could be seeing nine, 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 like everywhere for some of you, but an eights as well. 11, 11, the shrimp card with the four of wands, two, two, two. Yeah, this person is all about themselves or whoever the fuck they with is like that. Now they got to be stuck with this bitch. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to get what you want at the end of the day. Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands, the, the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the, the Temperance and the Judgment. Yep, and the Eight of Pentacles and the Star. <laughs> you're going to be fine here. I'm going to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. I'm so sick of people calling me. Like, for real. So many people have called in a matter of, like, go away. So what, um, yeah, the fool. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. What's the strength card? Somebody is really self-centered. <clears throat> They're selfish. They only care about themselves. Yeah, the seven of swords. This person is running. They're running away here. Someone could have an Aquarius moon. Yeah, this person is lying. They The reason why they're stuck is because they keep lying. They're lying about something that they're too nervous to tell you the truth about. Child, I, Leo... <laughs> I am just so and what you're manifesting is this the magician the justice and the ace of cups you're going to get love to regardless so don't give up if you feel like this is not the one then maybe they're not fuck it and fuck them and move on you know you know wish them well and move the fuck on like for real what's this drum card with the seven of swords yeah the queen of pentacles for some of you like I said this person is married I just saw the five of wands but this is you they're, I feel like this person, they're lying about what they want with you. They need to tell you what it is that they want and what they don't want. I feel like they're scared they, They're scared of how you're going to react because they know that you want something serious or they know that you fuck with them. They know that. Let's see. Um, could be dealing with a Capricorn. Who is Queen of Pentacles? The High Priestess. Yeah, for some of you, this is the other person. So, sometimes I get that with the High Priestess. Definitely go watch Pisces reading. And the Queen of Pentacles came out in reverse with the devil. In reverse and Pisces reading. Yeah, they're hiding this person. They're hiding the fact that they were married or they still are. And they're running around cheating and doing whatever the fuck they want to do. And they feel like they can keep coming back to use you. Child... This person has lost their fucking mind. <laughs> like, I'm so serious. What's the Seven of Swords? The High Priestess. Some of you guys could be um, tarot readers. You could definitely be healers. You could be um, witches that are of light, right? You don't sit around and do weird shit. But I feel like you do have some powers. Okay, you're very powerful. You could resonate as a as a witch, even if you don't call yourself that. Whatever. I know how people get, oh, you know, witches are da 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 You know, whatever. But, um... Your intuition is just telling you that something is off too. I feel like, you know, and you're highly desirable. You're highly attractive. I feel like you're very sensual. You're very down to earth. You're a cool person. Like, I don't know, but I feel like somebody here is married. What's the seven of swords? They could even be pregnant for some of you. Yeah, the two of swords. Someone could have a Libra moon. 
So yeah, something is just stagnant. It's not moving. Somebody is like having a hard decision to make and they feel like they can't make a decision. So I feel like you want to make it for them. <laughs> I feel like you're kindly going to make it for them here since they want to be stuck and sit in a stalemate and all this stupid shit. And then, then I guess just that's just where you are. So... <clears throat> This could be you making a decision here. But there's a lot of sneaky shit going on behind the scenes that I feel like you're not even informed about, but you can feel it. What's going on for Leo? Let's get a Moon Witch Oracle. It's crazy. I feel like it's pissing me off because it's crazy how you like somebody, you love them, you care about them, but then they turn around and betray you like that. And then want to sit up here and keep doing shit. Or even if they're not doing it, you're making yourself look like you're a loser. You're a fuckboy or a fuck girl you know what i'm saying like if that's what you like though you know if you like it i love it wow yes and no <laughs> yes go for it no sleep on it what bottom of the deck is familiar yeah listen and learn so i'm getting something is familiar something is very familiar it keeps repeating and now i feel like it's showing you in a 3d that is going to keep repeating so if you're going back and forth yes and no yes and no Or this is this person. You need to listen to your intuition with the high priestess. You know it's something sneaky going on in your right. It is. It is. <laughs> what? Let's see. Let's just clarify that then. Let, let me see something. What um let me use this deck real quick. Uh this yes card talking about for leo yeah i just saw gamble so that's like taking a risk here on something what is um because i feel like you are there's a lot of wands there's like two wands three wands you're trying to decide on something and the answer is yes go for it and the other one is no sleep on it because this person is a no that's what the no is what's yes just go for it pot of gold selling you false dreams what's yes or this is this person that's all over the place what's yes they don't know who to choose or what to choose or whatever the fuck what's yes magnetic unexplainable pull can't resist so what's yes lost yeah ghosted cut off block i'm telling you so the yes is if you're thinking about moving on, it's a yes. You, But you feel this strong magnetic pull to this person. But it don't matter. It don't matter what the fuck that is. Somebody just keeps, this person keeps ghosting you. They're selling you false stories, false dreams here. So if you're thinking about leaving somebody in, in the past and letting them go, it's a yes. If this person is thinking about that, they need to like do that. And they're sitting up here still confused or still like like they don't know what to do. What's and it could be because they still have feelings for this person. I don't know, Leo. What's no? Unexpected. Running into a lost love after a long period. History past happened. What's no? Unreasonable. Seeing things only one way. What's no? Pop up, spontaneous, unexpected surprise visit. And then we have divine masculine. <laughs> divine masculine. Resurfacing, reappearing after a period of hiding. Cheaters got busted in public. Yeah, commitment, long term relationship, children. Yeah, this person is in a relationship with their child's mother or father. And then, yeah, it's like waves, emotions coming and going, and then flip-flop, changing up on you. It's, it happens every time, I swear. Down in the dumps, not in a good headspace or depressed, come together, reconciliation, and then what? Obsession, and then they get what they want, and then they act fake single. It's, it's just a no. No, no, no. Yeah. So this no is about this damn, your divan, your damn, I say your divan, <laughs> your damn divine masculine that's not acting, they're not divine. They're not acting divine. Yeah, flaker, inconsistent. I can't make it up. 
It's like, it's like you're outweighing the good and the bad about this connection. And I feel like the bad right now outweighs the good. I, don't, I ain't even going to lie to you. It's like, yes, we have this strong pull, but I keep getting ghosted and it keeps telling me false dreams. But yeah, I'm just going to stick it out. That's stupid. Don't do that. No. When this person comes back to pop up again, you need to say no this time. Because I feel, I feel like you say yes to a lot of shit and then they end up doing this shit to you. And then no, you need to learn how to say no to this person. You know, learn how to say no. Child, bye. I, I can't with this, Leo. This is reading them piss me off low key. <laughs> like, I'm so annoyed with this person. I'm annoyed with their ass. <laughs> like, for real. But, child. They're so indecisive and they project this. They project this onto you. That's why you have a hard time moving on. But I feel like this time around, you, you don't need to do that. Really, really stand your ground. Okay? Because it's too much back and forth and it's not fair. Why, why is this fair? Yeah, that five of wands with the king of cups. The page of swords, the devil. It, it's, it's no. <laughs> like, and it's crazy because y'all coming out as a match with... So far as like the emotional connection, but when it comes down to actually taking action, it never happens. So they can fuck up if they want to. This was your reading though, Leo. <laughs> I hope this resonated. Hopefully you got some clarity. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings for when I post. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.